the judo, I'm here with Wolves reporter. It's Mr. Tim Spears. Tim, you've just been to Nuno's press conference ahead of the big game against Chelsea tomorrow night. Um, Wolves not in the best of form. How does he change it? Does he change it in personnel? Does he change it in formation? Does he change it some other way? Uh, I don't know. Well, you, well, you should you, preempt you, it. You're asking for my opinion or Nuno's? Uh, both. Get into the mind of Nuno. Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, God. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 A bit grumpy today. Was he? Uh, Was he? No, 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 I'm just channeling my inner Nuno. Oh, OK. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was on good form today. Was he? Uh, good fighting form today. Um, OK. As he, as he sort of is, really, after uh, after a couple of defeats last season I thought he, he speaks best yes. um, when he feels like he has to kind of justify what's going on and, and, and what's going wrong and, and what are they going to do to put it right and the message really is more of the same in terms of his approach it will never change right. and he said it again we don't change for opponents but he has every faith that they're going to come through this he says they'll come through it stronger for it he is and he d doesn't come across like he's bull shining he really mm -hmm. believes that they're going to come through this they're going to come through it uh, via the convictions that he holds and the morals and the philosophies and the mm -hmm. ideas he has mm -hmm. and they'll come through it stronger he's, he's adamant of that when do they come through though because oh, I want to get out of it yeah. pretty quickly yeah no totally um, and they, yeah they could do the result ASAP um, mm -hmm. preferably against Chelsea but obviously that's a, a daunting prospect really now which is which is a shame because Wolves look forward and yeah. embraced and embraced the games, games against the big teams. Mm. So that would that would suggest to you that they're going to put on a bit of a show tomorrow and potentially nick a result. You right. know they, yeah, they've, yeah. they've nicked a point off Arsenal, Man City, Man United. Nearly nicked a point off Spurs. Mm. Chelsea's the next big gun. Liverpool mm. in a couple of weeks. So they can do it. It's just whether their confidence has been rocked by this poor run. Mm. And they've got a bit of a soft belly. I think we saw the other night for the first time. Mm -hmm. First time they've they've led in a match and lost under Nuno. So it's whether they can put all that to one side, embrace the atmosphere mm -hmm. of a packed Molyneux, yeah. embrace the occasion, take the game to Chelsea mm -hmm. and play as we know they can play. And how do they do that then? Do they, do they not panic? Do they try to keep... No, keep, they don't panic. Don't panic? Certainly. Player-wise, personnel-wise, I mean, we look, we look at Costa at another poor game, really, I think, at Cardiff. How does he change it? I mean, we've got no Ruben Neves, so, so he's going to be out. Banned for a fourth time in Wolves colours, and this, this came up in the press today, and I loved his response. Brilliant. He said, um, sometimes uh, Ruben takes or players foul, and it's for the benefit of the team. Yeah. And he says, I'm not going to stop them doing that. Um, sometimes there are fouls that benefit the team, and I want to see them do that, mm -hmm. he said. He said, if it's a booking for bad language or abusive language, yeah. no, that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? Mm. I thought it was a bit ironic, <laughs> going from Nuno. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so he said, if you're going to take a foul for the team, great. Yeah, he's smart, so, yeah. so he's not, he's, he's headed, I speak to Ruben every day. You've got to take one um, for the team. You've taken plenty for the team. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> White mm -hmm. and uh, so he doesn't want Rubens because yeah, before mm -hmm. suspension, he got 11 bookings last season and a red card, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want him to change. And um, it's a shame that misses tomorrow's game. But as he says, we got options. So, who are the options? Well, Wolves have tweeted a picture today with the options, which I thought was a little <laughs> bit, yeah, have they? yeah, they have, yeah. Um, the option in the, what the best option for me. Uh, is putting Sace in midfield mm -hmm. and restoring Ryan Bennett to this team who did nothing wrong. No. Very unfortunate to be dropped. This happened This happened earlier on under Nuno as well, that Bennett went from nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, it came up in today's presser and he said it was it was an individual choice for Cardiff, he said. He said, um, we looked at the characteristics of both players and that's what we wanted. And yeah, and I, I, see where right, though. I can see where it's coming from because the, the tactic against Cardiff was lots of lots of long balls over mm -hmm. the top for Traore to chase, mm -hmm. and Sace was trying that continuously. Mm -hmm. So he's better distribution, I don't think anyone can argue with that. So sort of a horse, horses for courses approach, I would expect, if I was going to put money on it, Sace to be in field and Bennett to be restored at centre half. And then. So go, is up top, give me, give me the wide boys. Going further forward, yeah, if it's 3 4 3, which of course it is every single week. Not, we're, we're taking Bonatini out of it now, Kimenez up top. Uh, well, I don't think any of the, any of the four forwards can um, say that they. Bloody hell! I have to start me Nuno. I played very well in my last game. Of course. Has so, Diogo Jota got better by not playing because uh, everyone else has been poor? Um, to an extent, but I actually thought he did he did pretty well when he came on against Cardiff. Um, I thought he was bright, he was breezy, he was trying to make things happen. He was not shirking the ball at all, uh, and he looked like he had a bit more to offer than in recent weeks. He just about edges it for me for a start. I think Caballero. Will be second choice. I, think, I don't. Think, I don't see Traore starting again, and it may be time for the first time this season to take Costa out the firing line. 
He was awesome at Arsenal, unplayable at times, mm. but his last two performances have been shoddy, to say uh, the least. Against, so, against two teams you'd expect him to thrive in, really. So he can't complain, or well, he can complain, but he... Um, and he will complain. And he will complain, <laughs> but he shouldn't, uh, because he doesn't... I don't think he can say, I deserve to start. No, no, no. So, who we're looking at then, so you're looking at Jota on the, on the left, yes. and so I assume you, you're looking at potentially Cavalero slash Morgan Gibbs White then. I think Gibbs White uh, came on in a forward role against Cardiff is, is an option mm -hmm. um, as a forward who can tuck inside. Said this on Monday um, that I'd like to see them do that, and hopefully he does. But we, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Options, as he says, options. Chelsea got some options as well. Not too yeah. bad, are they? A but they can team. be got at though. They can be got can at. Can be got at. Uh, Spurs got at them in the in the only game that they've lost so far this season. But yeah, no, they're they're, they're a work in progress. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Don't see them um, mounting a really serious title challenge this season. Personally, I think they're still a bit of work in progress. Mm. Of course, it can be got out. Um, I mean, everybody keeps saying, "Well, Wolves play better against the big teams because they go come and play play football." That's it. That's what Wolves Wolves enjoy. Is it as simple as that? So Wolves should have a good good a good game because they're allowed to play and, and play football. It's, it's definitely a factor. Okay. It's definitely a factor. I think if you look at the bottom twelve teams and certainly what we've seen recently, Huddersfield, Cardiff, Southampton did it as well. They're trying to pack the midfield and stop Wolves from playing. Mm. You bigger teams. Uh, with a little bit less respect for the opposition, mm. um, don't uh, are more intent on how many goals they're going to score rather than stopping Wolves play. You know, Chelsea are going to come in and line up with a defensive formation and try and stop Wolves mm. play, like Southampton mm. did, for example, or, or Huddersfield to, to a small extent. But anyway, um, yes, there will there will have there will be uh, bigger gaps to exploit in the final third. Give me a prediction, mm. Wolves one. Chelsea. Two. Okay, uh, I'm talking myself up into a draw. Uh, I think Wolves can nick a point. You talked yourself into a draw with Cardiff and look up in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we want we want an uplifting yes. uh, live ENS Wolves podcast on Thursday. Yes, we do. Uh, love, love it, love it, love it, love it. Molyneux, so hopefully a big result will get the crowd. Crowd, crowd chomping at the bit. Yeah, exactly. Rather than, rather than coming with flames, and that's just for us. Yeah. Rebellious. Uh, fingers crossed, me and Tim shall be in Molyneux tomorrow. Fingers crossed, we'll be there. Hopefully, we will be, yeah. <laughs> I think, we'll, I think we'll make it. <laughs> eight o'clock kickoff. Uh, Quarter to eight. Is it? Wow, this is going very badly. Quarter to eight kickoff. Yeah. Oh, I'll get there at 7 to 8 for the light show. See you later.